Hello everyone and welcome back to Havzix Plays Persona 4 Golden and today we are going to go and check the Midnight Channel and see if we save Kanji or not. So, let's not beat around the bush. Let's get the story progressing. It's midnight. The fog has set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Kanji has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Meanwhile, at the Fog Shrouded Shopping District. Again? Hmm. The plot, like the fog, thickens. Well, it was a quick Saturday. You have the day off from school today. All you can do now is wait for Kanji's recovery. What should you do today? Oh, I guess I do have some kind of a chill day. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Let's see what's on. Which program would you watch? Ah, uh, shopping. You hear an infectious, cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Granter of your desires. This is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail-order television program, being broadcasted to you live. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the products available for these three days. It's Jin... Jinji Fushi... Fundoshi? Tie them tight to boost your vitality. Okay, oh my god. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. Oh god, I don't even know that. I'll add slimming food times two to your order, all for the low price of only 11,800 yen. We've got another fantastic product on sale today. Edema Trout won a, fish, a fresh fish combo. On top of this, I'll add two Amber Sema to your Edema Trout for only 2,980 yen. These products are so popular, we can only allow one order per person. Would you like to purchase today? Yes, I would. I really kind of want the Fundoshi, but I need to feed the cat and I don't want to fish. So I'll get the trout combo. Because I want that book. You bought the Edaba Trout combo, including Edaba Trout times one and Amber Sema times two. Wow, we've sold through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. You hear the catchy song again. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. The shopping program has ended. You turn off the TV. Feel a little bad about yourself. Uh, what did everyone do today? You're right. Chie, Marie, worked at home... I guess it's Chie's turn if she's available. Chie's five, Yukiko's five, Yosuke is six. So yeah. We'll hang out with Chie. Oh, what do you have? Well, hey there, mister. I got two new seedlings in stock today. First is crack wheat. Sounds weird, huh? Ooh, I do want that, actually. I love crack wheat. I'm gonna leave it at that. The stem is so strong yet supple that there's legends of bandits using this stuff to open locks. Exactly why I like it. The other is Hiranya cabbage. I got the na I got that name because of the way the leaves look. It like something called Hi Hira. I have no idea. Not sure what that means though. But it's very high in nutrition. In fact, it's known as a herbal cure all. My father-in-law likes to juice these up in a blender and drink them straight up. Me, well, I'm you know. Uh, no, I don't, actually. What are you talking about? 
In any case, these are great. If you're stepping up your garden, give them a try. These are the ones I have right now. Which kind would, do you want? I want both, actually. Yes. Yes. Fine. I should probably still somewhat look out for how much I'm spending. I do have a bunch of stuff I can take to that guy, the Metalworks guy. Oh, I can check on the lady who doesn't want to eat. It's not you, is it? Don't bother me. I'm channeling my mental energy in order to control my urges. I mustn't want snacks. They'll just make me fat. Shiroku store is my enemy. Remember, all that dieting and exercise. Do you want to ha do you want to have to do that again? Must shun the snacks. Shun the snacks. Shun. Ah, snacks. I want to eat snacks. Ah, I wonder if there's any bad tasting snacks. Actually, it doesn't have to be bad. Maybe if it was just odd tasting, I would stop thinking about them. Okay, so you want a disgusting snack? I can help, I guess. I want to distance myself from those Shiroku snacks. Uh, yeah, she's probably the one. Want snack to her craving. Luckily, I think Chie has the answer. What's up, Yudakun? Come think of it, there's a woman looking for a snack that doesn't taste like a snack. Chie may know something. Ask Chie. A snack that doesn't taste like a snack? A snack? Hmm. I have no idea. My snacks taste like snacks. You want some? You've taken. Ooh, God. Meat gum? The hell is wrong with you, Chie? You should try giving this to the woman. Speaking of snacks, you ever get hungry inside the TV? Maybe I should bring something with me next time. That's a good idea, actually. Hey, lady, you want some meat gum? What's that smell? It smells juicy, raw, yet sweet. Is this the rumored meat gum? God. Hey, can I have a bit? I want to try it. Oh, you can have it all, lady. Give the one meat gum. Ugh. What is this? It's chewy meat? This is also considered a snack? The world of snacks is indeed vast and infinite. Well, that was certainly different and odd. When I think snack, I'll definitely recall this taste now. <laughs> God help you, woman. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now I won't linger in front of Shioku's store anymore. Oh yes, I need to visit the shrine. I made a wish to hate snacks there. I'll use my snack money as an offering. Have fun? Oh god, that's disgusting. Hey, you wanna hang out? Oh, Yudakun! Don't you think it, this is cool? That shine, those curves, man, I want that helmet. <laughs> oh, Chie never. Well, I actually changed a little bit. I never want to hear the words meat gum again. It seems Chie has some free time. Spend time! Then you want to train? I didn't look if I'm going to progress or not. I actually just kind of sped through it and didn't read. Looks like we're going to progress. You finished today's training and came here with Chie. Have you had the steak skewers? Um, yes. The meat is tender and delicious, and they hardly cost anything. It might not even be cow meat. I don't want to think about that. Just kidding. Whoa, thank you about it. That's kind of gross, huh? <laughs> yeah. What? The police are here. Quick, Chie, take my weapons. I can't be arrested again. Dojima will be pissed. Th then is this place really serving fake meat? Excuse me. Yes, I haven't eaten any of the meats today, I swear. Lately, there's been several incidents with a group of teenagers bullying people around here. Okay, it's not us, I promise. Bullying? Extortion, if you will. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Uh, no, no one in particular. Hmm, I see. Well, you two be careful, then. All right. Jake, are you even wearing pants under mm. that coat? I'm glad it wasn't the meat. But still, bullying? What coward's ganging up on the weak like that? Exactly. It's so cruel and stupid. Jay is outraged. I'm with you. We'll grab him and we'll make them apologize. Right, leader? Oh, of course. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Jay looks happy. Mowing down villains and saving the weak, a lone female fighter stands. 
To protect the town's peace, she throws herself into the battlefield, unbeknownst to all. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. Unicoon, leave it to me. I got very masculine with my GA voice there for a second. Though, I'd feel a lot better about it if you helped. And it makes... And it make me kind of happy. Aw, tough yet feminine, like Kanji. Chie seems somewhat embarrassed. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. And that wasn't a dig at Kanji. I dig Kanji. Do you get new ability at level 6? Yeah, what'd you get? Revolution. Revolution! Increase crit. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. Get rid of Rebellion. I'll increase everyone's crit rate. All right, first, let's eat. Don't think, feel. Don't think, feel, right? Actually, in this case, would it be don't think, eat? Yes. I need the tr <laughs> Thank you, Chia. I need the trade for the meat bowl. Oh, welcome home, big fro. Thanks, Nanako. Uh, you're available, but you're not available. Oh, yeah, I've been... Dachi's available, though. How close am I on that book? Because I need to hang out with the Dachi, but I need to finish this book, too. Oh, uh, one. Okay, I'll save the book because the Dachi's not available every night. So hang out with the Dachi tonight. I might, I might go make that persona for him real quick, actually. Just in case. Because, yeah, Dachi's not available every night. So hang out with the Dachi. Hi, Yukiko. Oh. Something is different, and the squeaks have returned. Marie is nowhere to be found. There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in powerful strokes. Fly. Where am I going, you ask? Don't Fly ask away questions. with me. I don't need a map. I throw away my compass. That's a bad idea. My heart will show me the way. I walk by myself. Am I not lonely, you ask? Yeah, right. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Freedom. That is the rule. Just like some evil level deafness. Deafness? Depth. Whatever. I was an emo kid, no I would know. No one can break my wings. This must be another of Marie's poems. Ah! What is this? Did you read that? You did it again? What, why? What, what the hell is wrong with you? I told you not to read that stuff. That's my rule. I live here. My house, my rules. I hate you, stupid rule breaker. I can't believe this. Marie blush. Marie? Marie blushes. I don't understand. I remember putting it away. Marie returns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. Uh, Fuse Persona. Fuse. Fusion Forecast. None. Tomorrow? None. Cool. Search. What do I lose? Oh, I lose Jack Frost? I don't want to lose Jack Frost. Okay, I'll have to come back and buy some Personas again, but I think it'll be good to have him. Plus, he actually looks pretty dope. Let's see, hysterical slap, light physical, no, no, uh, well, he doesn't have ice, so the boost abilities don't help. Okay, hysterical slap. Do that, because healing and that, wow, you kind of, your abilities aren't that good. Got rid of three pretty good personas for this. Also, this has been a very long one day in the game. Oh, you don't even have arms. Nice to meet you, girl. Oh, you have wing arms. I get it. 
You still look really cool. Well, we got growth one, so you're going to level up pretty quickly. You only have four other abilities. Three other abilities now, because you got Swift Strike. Oh, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, three others. Okay. Well, I'm going to buy back some of the ones I gave up. Uh, check Compendium. Compendium. Uh, no. Right, uh, we want Jack Frost. Yes, I want Jack Frost. Um, and then I think I got rid of my Priestess, which were kind of expensive. I'll get you back anyway. Yes, I'll leave the other one gone for now. I have spent way too much money the past couple episodes. But, it's okay. Adachi, you want to hang out? Oh. Oh, it's you. You seem bored. Are you studying? Students need the study. Want me to tutor you? Ah, uh, no. I'm doing pretty well on my own, actually. Uh, da -da. you feel the relationship with Adachi is going to become closer soon. Why not? Have Adachi tutor you. Give me a break. Did that completely fly over your head? I forgot everything I learned in high school. Uh, oh, but you did invite me over for dinner that one time. Fine, but just today, all right? You head over to Dojima's residence with Adachi. Still weird that you're bringing him... I guess, I mean, he does work with Dojima, but still weird to just bring him home. This is an awkward family setting. Dojima residence, living room. Uh, you guys studying? Wait, no, I don't even want to look at yours. Too complicated looking. Though, maybe I could help Nanako chans Really? You would? I have some homework, a book review. Oh, those? They're really easy if you know what to do. You don't have to read the whole thing. Just read the notes in the back and then summarize those. That's cheating. Don't teach that to Nanako. I don't? But my teacher said read it and write what you think. Don't worry about that. We have to be efficient here. Uh... This is how you do your job, too. She won't learn anything that way. Ow. God damn it, he'll like your right. <laughs> Are you the same way? What a bad older brother. See, I got the points for it. Dachi is laughing heartily. Big bro, are you a punk? Don't tell Dojima. Come on, Nanako. Bring your book. It wasn't a review. Um. It just I just have to read it and then get a mark from a grown-up saying I did. Okay, that's easy enough. Though, so, Mark, Dojima-san is going to be late today. You're a grown-up. Will you give me one, Adachi-san? Me? Uh, okay, if you're good, I'll draw you a big flower. I want one! <laughs> All right, then, let's get started. Once in a deep, deep forest near a small, small river, there lived a pink alligator. No, 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 I am not ready for this. Go list, go watch Persona 3 if you don't understand. I am not ready for this story. Nanako is reading intently. And so no one remembered the pink alligator. Even today, the lake is shining the way it always did. The end. Oh god, I, I hate this story. It's a okay kid's book. I mean, it's a, honestly, it's a traumatizing kid's book, if anything. Do I get a big flower? I don't think I read Adachi's line. Yeah, sure, I'll give you one. Yay! Yay, a flower! What about you? Do you have anything you want me to draw a flower on? Uh, nope, nothing. You're no fun. Are you really related to Nanako chan? Never mind. You look mature, but you're still in high school, you know. I'm not saying it should be me, but if something happens, you shouldn't hesitate to bring it to a grown up. Eh, I mean, we're kind of forming a friendship, Adachi. Hey, he's level 5 too. Wow. I actually am doing pretty good on a decent amount of social links right now. Uh, Jess Sorokano's grown. Okay, cool. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. Mind if I take a little nap? Yeah, go home. That old lady brought me some photos of potential matches. Take her up on it. I mean, how else are you going to meet people? She kept insisting, I see these girls because they're nice and I had to do overtime because of it. Like, I'll ever get married. Oh, you're one of those. You don't want to get married? Marriage is where fun goes to die. Don't tell my fiance that. You'll understand in about 20 years, Nanako chan. Don't tell Nanako that. Come to think of it, Dojima san will be a father in law to whoever Nanako chan decides to marry. Yeesh, that's certainly got to put a damper on her chances. 
Uh, you take that back. What do you mean? Really? There's just no way. Sorry, Nanako-chan. No. I don't want to get married either. I don't like people with holes in their socks. I agree with you, but I'm kind of confused as to what that has to do with marriage. I don't have holes in my socks. You did the other day. <laughs> the three of you spent an enjoyable evening together. That was actually a pretty long day. Yo, what's up, Kaji? Uh, hi there. Hey. Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. So now you respect us? I thought it was because we helped you. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. Uh, a lot of shit. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? Oh, the one with the hat, yeah. I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Okay. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Yeah, that would help. Uh, well... He just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. Your head was that you were lonely, Kanji, and it's okay. Except who you are. To a guy. Chie, don't make it weird. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. I mean, yeah, people just kind of like what they like. It's, I don't know, nothing weird about it. You can't, I mean, it, it's just who you are. It's fine. You guys are a lot more laid back. For the most part, I might, I don't know. I might have to go with that. Most of the girls I know are pretty laid back, too, though. So, uh, I started thinking... What if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? That's perfectly fine. And I couldn't accept that. So I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. See, that's the thing of where I know a lot of people rag on the kanji element. I got on that soapbox, but I like that it all stems from the fact of his own insecurity in his sexuality. I think that's a very nuanced idea and the fact that he lashes out from it i think they take it too far in the palace i agree with that but i really like that it is an addition in this game uh how are you feeling have you calmed down do you not like chris how are you feeling i don't care who you like i'm fine now good that's all that matters i mean it was all in my head when you get down to it i was the one shutting out that stuff exactly so uh our families run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. Yeah, we stopped by. Your parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. I like dyes are one with the universe. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. I have a lot of stuff that you could fix for me. Apparently, Nanako doesn't like holes and socks. Can you help with that? The second I say stuff like that, will look at me funny. Girls make fun of me. The people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. I mean, that that is small town syndrome. I, yeah, I, I grew up in a place very similar to that. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Hey, we kind of had a bonding experience and you're feeling open around us. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. No, you're just you, man. Don't act like a big shot. You're act you're really pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. I think so. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. And now you have friends. Guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. He is. 
Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Kanji? <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. <laughs> hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? Probably not. You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... Someone came into your room? To your house? Did they knock? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Uh, Other why did she have the mad expression? I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Dark entrance. That'd be a TV screen. Could it have been a TV? Huh. Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Boy, do we have something to show you. Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Yukiko, we should let him in on the secret. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. Sounds about right. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Uh, something. We're the Scooby Gang. You want to join us? Uh, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? Uh, yes, a lot. If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. You hit like a fucking tank, I bet. I mean, I what would know. What do you know. say, leader? I say, Yosuke, congratulations, you're on the B team. Of course he can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. Keep calling me sir. I like it. I'll do my best. Kanji Tatsumi has joined your group. He'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Hapsix can't read and keeps adding words or changing them around because he's dyslexic. Level 4! The Investigation Social Team Link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas of the Fool Arcana has grown. I actually feel like I'm well, reading better in this one than I did in Persona 3. Uh, welcome aboard. We're gonna, yeah, okay. Should we take him to our special headquarters? You mean the food court? This is, We're still calling it that? This is a much better special headquarters, guys. What? What's that? The food court. Come on, let's go. Prepare to be disappointed. Oh, jeez, are you that hungry? Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? He's a growing boy. Huh? Well, sure, I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ugh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, wait, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? <laughs> oh, I love you, Kanji. No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? He was eating. He had his priorities straight. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. All right, let's go see Ted. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Up. Oh. Yeah, I keep wondering who will show up next. Me too. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. Oh, how'd you know that? What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Rutro. Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he likes sewing. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. <laughs> so who are you, dipshits? Kanji, do you want to be introduced to the leather boys? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> can't stand it. He might just scare the shadows away. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, 
How can they talk about their schoolmate like that? Kids are cruel. It's pretty easy. They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. Oh yeah, all of our this connections have gone the window. Our assumption that all the victims are female. I, I told you guys that could just be a coincidence. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamino are the targets. How about that? I mean, that's still a... That's more plausible, but you never know. Uh, I don't think it holds up. Hmm. Think we're wrong about this one, too? I think it's also another coincidence. I don't know. That announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. Yeah. We haven't come up with a reason yet why the killer would target their children. Vengeance. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Pretty much. Well, listen up, because I got something big. Okay. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Okay. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I like the proud look on his face. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? Uh, yeah, it's useful. You took the paper from Kanji. There are several lists. Which one will you read out loud? Um, female announcer ranking. List of TV programs. Mayumi Yamano, Mayumi Yamano, 411. Shaki Kunishi, 413. What are these dates? April 11th? They found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? It means the 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 dates are the day they appeared on TV programs. Come on, guys. This is easy. What's Saki Konishi April 13th? The day she was on the TV. The day I met her, the day she was on the TV. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. We found a connection. Kanji, why are you the smartest member of the team? Oh, yeah. I saw that, too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? Maybe. I don't remember if I watched TV that night. Oh, she was on. Remember now? That was when the affair hit the news! Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? Yes, Kanji kinda did also. When did that interview air? He more so just told the reporter to get bent. I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, yeah, don't exact me the ex I mean, don't, don't ask me the exact date. It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? No. <laughs> I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. So the day... The day Saki died. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... I'd like to see that. The date? Just tell us the date! Uh... I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. Yeah, I see. I wouldn't remember the exact date either. That's fair. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. We have a clue. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I mean, it's a pretty good assumption, actually. I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It can't be a coincidence. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. Okay. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I actually I'll give you guys this one. I hadn't thought of that. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. 
must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Maybe they want to maybe they want attention? I don't know. Why can't I be smarter? Because you're not studying enough. Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. Kanji Kun. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. I love you, Kanji. You're awesome. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. Four, if you count the fact that I helped Yosuke and Chie, too. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. Fair enough. I know! We were so close! She need to try harder next time. Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier, then. We tried. <laughs> well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Maybe? <laughs> Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Doubtful, actually. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me! The school campout's next week! I hope it doesn't rain. Oh. Well, yay story progression. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji Kun. Fun? Seriously? School, huh? <laughs> what a drag. That face. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? As long as you're paying for it. I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? If that means we're splitting it, no. New teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? You'll understand when you get there. Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. <laughs> Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. Where do you put it all? None of it. <laughs> what? He's a growing boy, Yukiko. Don't touch that dial. It's time for the Midnight Channel. I haven't done that for a minute. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Kanji, this is Teddy. Teddy, this is Kanji. Didn't think it was a bear, though. What do you think he was? Hey, why is it a bear? Eh. Uh, because? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. I've been wondering, too. Poor Ted. It, it's kind of cute. I know, right? M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! Teddy, I thought you'd never say that. <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip bear! <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped, too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone, too? In a different way. Do you want to see the tape? Th that's, uh... What was it like for Senpai... <laughs> <laughs> Kanji. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. What? <laughs> My jaw. I'll be more gentle next time. More gentle? More gentle? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the line. I forgot about that line. What a pair of dimwits. My turn. It's, it's a spanking line now. Let's go. I mean, slapping oh, yeah. line. Here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Oh, they're the gag ones, aren't they? Huh? Sure, but... Hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? Just it, humor her, please. <laughs> it, it looks perfect on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yiki> cow. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I think they looked the best on Yukiko, personally. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. <laughs> Give him the real pair. Why are you taking it out on me? Because you didn't let him pet you. Give me that. How'd you grab the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding? <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> Why do you have spares? <laughs> oh, oh, my sides. <laughs> We're never going to find those now. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? <laughs> also, why are yours like sunglasses? Those are cool. Damn it! We'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> hey, don't look at me. I wasn't involved. Ah. <laughs> uh. Welcome back. Thanks, Dojima. And on that side-splitting note, I think this is a perfect time to call the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and any notifications that we can stay updated on content. Next time, we're going to see what the story has in store for us. But if this is your first time checking out any of my videos, go ahead and click the video there in the corner. It will take you back to the beginning of Persona 4 Golden. And if you like what you see, head on over to the video section where I have plenty of their great games and there's always more stuff coming out of the pike. But in the meantime, I hope everybody stays safe and I will see you all next time.